This is the video to watch. Don't listen to the haters. There are two types of people in this world: the people that do stuff, and the people that complain about the other people that do stuff. And everybody needs to decide which one they want to be.、Um, if you're here for all the right reasons, keep watching. And we'll answer all of your questions. Okay, we're going to tackle the big one first. There were a lot of people that said there were ageism in these jobs. And look, I did a video like two years ago, where I showed I think five other completely separate, different jobs that were similar to these, but for people that were over fifty-five, sixty-five. And I got similar comments in that video. I'll link that below. Also, but there were a lot of people in those comments that were making money. And I'm going to do a follow-up video on this in a few months because I dug in and did some research after these comments. And yes, depending on the age you look at—55, 65, whatever—that age group is 50 to 60, 65 percent of the buying market. It is not these babies. And all of the research is telling companies that they need to do more market research and user testing, which is exactly what we're talking about for that generation. But it's thirty percent of the market right now. They could do better, but thirty percent of the user testing and market research out there is for people in that age group. So just know that right now. And I will now read TJ the questions. Okay. The first one says several people have mentioned that companies don't want people over sixty-five. I have also found this to be true. Any advice? Then the next one says. This sounds more like an informational and a hook to buy the book. A more honest way would be to tell people what is really going on, such as if your age is anyway above fifty-five or sixty, you will spend hours answering and never be being selected, and that your chances of really making real money are somewhere between zero to none. I am I can feel TJ wanting to tackle that one. Next question. Yes. Ne- next question. I have a hard time believing this because I have checked out the jobs. You push. Honestly, that, that I find that word irritating, and I'd say they are not viable for most people. The worst thing in those surveys, which you spend hours on, only to find you don't qualify for some reason. I appreciate this video, but your job ideas are not for most people. Maybe younger people, and I don't believe she only does this for a few hours. And the last one, which had hundreds of comments attached to it, the surveys I found are overwhelmingly for. Under sixty-five-year-olds,、um, I used to waste time answering their interview questions and never got chosen, so it wasn't worth it. And people said, "Me too." So, can you tell the audience, since they can't see you, how old you are? I'm fifty-five. I turn fifty-five in March. There were people that said they don't hire people over forty-five, over fifty, over sixty, over sixty-five, over seventy-nine. They didn't hire you if you didn't have kids. They didn't hire you if you were white. They didn't hire you if you were black. I'm telling you, these gigs hire everybody because the gigs that we talked about in the first video were user testing and market research. And I'm going to have TJ explain to you again what those things are. But they're looking for all kinds of people, including people over fifty and fifty-five. And TJ, since you did this before you turned fifty-five and after, did you see a difference? So far, I have not seen a difference whatsoever. I have just as many、um, scr- user tests. I have just as many、um, marketing research gigs as many one-on-one interviews. So far, nothing has changed for me. Sometimes they do care about your age. That's it's it, that's just, that's just a given. They they do care sometimes. But I understand everyone's frustration. Listen, I'm 55. I I only turned 55 in March, but I have the same amount of one-on-one interviews and marketing research, and I've qualified for the same amount as I did before I turned 55. So again, I can't I can't speak to 65 and over. I can only speak to my age. However. What I want to say is, not everyone is going to fit every target demographic for every survey or every market research. However, there are hundreds of other side hustle opportunities and micro tasks that are not age dependent. Persistence and exploring various options can help you find what suits you best, right? So if you find that the 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 marketing research is only one small slice of what's available out there. For the online side hustle gig, that's all I'm saying. And I would like to say that nobody is pushing 
any specific jobs. Robin is giving you a list of companies to go try out for and see what works for you. That's all she's doing. It's up to you to go out there and explore and figure out what works for you. If if these things don't work for you, okay, that that that's all right. But there, for a lot of other people, they really do. And、uh, I just want to say once again that persistence is key in this. I don't qualify. So here's the thing: on user testing, when I do user testing, the screeners are very quick, and those are most of the time I'm not even asked my age. I'm asked what I do or what company do I use. Do I use Verizon, AT and T, or T-Mobile, or whatever? And that's all they care about. They care about what bank you use. If you're gonna user test their website,、uh, they care about、uh, what kind of shoes you wear. But they're most of the time they're not even asking the age on those. Some they are, but most are not. I would also.